Hello, officer. The bar graph shows the percentage of Americans in various age groups who had contact with a police officer for anything from an arrest to asking directions in a recent year. The mathematical model, P equals negative 5 tenths times x squared plus 1 tenth times x plus 26 and 9 tenths, describes the percentage of Americans, P, in age group X who had contact with a police officer. Does the model underestimate or overestimate the percentage of Americans between the ages of 20 and 29 inclusive who had contact with a police officer? By how much? So let's refer to the bar graph. Notice that if we're looking at ages 20 to 29 on the bar graph, that's going to be group 2. Note that the bar graph shows group 2 with 27%. So 27% would be the percentage of Americans in age group 2 who had contact with a police officer. Now let's refer to our model. We have P equals, and we have this expression, as was read earlier. We're told that X is going to be the group that we're working with, and we determined that that was group 2. So we're going to use this mathematical model to find out if it represents an overestimate or an underestimate of the actual percentage by replacing the value of x with the value of 2. So we're going to have negative 5 tenths multiplied times 2 squared plus 1 tenth multiplied times 2 plus 26.9. Now we're going to use order of operations to evaluate this. Notice that we're going to apply the exponent power first, that would give us a 4. We're then going to multiply that times 5 tenths, a negative 5 tenths. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as a fraction to make my multiplication easier. 5 tenths is the same as 1 half. So we'll have the negative 5 tenths times 2 squared represented by negative 1 half times 4. Let's go ahead and multiply. In our middle term, we have 1 tenth times 2 to give us 2 tenths. And then we bring down our last term of 26 and 9 tenths. Let's go ahead and do the multiplication. Negative 1 half times 4 is going to give us a value of negative 2. We can go ahead and add our decimal representations here. We have 2 tenths plus 26 and 9 tenths. That's going to give us a value of 27 and 1 tenth. And now subtracting 2 from 27 and 1 tenth gives us a value of P as 25 and 1 tenth. Now remember at this point we're supposed to be comparing this to what we saw in the bar graph. Recall that the bar graph told us that our percentage was going to be 27%. So we can see right off the bat that this is going to be an underrepresentation of the actual percentage. By how much? We'll take our 27% and subtract from it what the model gave us, which was 25 and 1 tenth percent, to give us a difference of 1 and 9 tenths percent. And this is 1 and 9 tenths percent which is going to be an underestimate of the amount given to us in the bar graph.